Um, Ooh, I like this, uh, the clouds in front of the moon at night. Oh yeah, no, this... It, they really did weather and, like, environment... ...stuff really well in this game. It's so nice to, like, just look out over the landscape and stuff like that. Like, games like this and Horizon Zero Dawn and mm -hmm. Hollow Knight make me really excited for, like, the next 10 years... 10, 30 years of gaming. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's gonna be some really pretty games out there. As, like, we get be better and better at making games without being, like, held ba back by technology. Like, this... I'm still hoping for more multiplayer games with campaigns, You'll, which is I very mean, there will always be more, but honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest. Uh, I actually almost kind of like this experience with you better. Because, mm -hmm. like, with multiplayer, it's fun, but... You always outpace me. You like no, no, being no, no, at no, the no. controls. The problem with multiplayer is it's, <laughs> it's so hard to kind of keep people all on track with the same topic. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, with this, you and I are pretty much working together as a, a a team, you know, discussing stuff, thinking about things. You know, every once in a while we, we get kind of off track, off topic, whatever. But for the most part, it feels very cohesive. I was going to go check out this other shrine. Right. So I got that one skull in the water, which either refers to this one or refers to something else. We might just not have the quest for this area. Well, wouldn't you have to have spoken with Ravelli over at the, um, is the... Who? Uh... Or not, not Ravelli, uh, Cass. Who? He's a Rito that sings the songs and usually tells you where a hidden shrine is. Uh, that's a good point. Like, where's the stable around here? Interesting question. Oh, hey, can you blast him? Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Conflagration. Okay. Is that good enough? Yeah, we're warm enough. That worked out. Ah, crap. Got shot. Don't care. Got Master Sword. Hello. I really wish the enemies didn't have so much HP in this game. Mm -hmm. Bugs me a little bit. At least they don't do a whole lot of damage, which is kind of nice. And I've got the uh, Master Sword. I should probably get my hands on uh, enough materials that I can continually repair the uh, the special weapons. They're way up here. I guess there always is a way up here. <laughs> yep. Well, now you have a way. Okay. Hello! Oh, hey! It's another white one. With purple markings. Yeah, they're gonna be more and more common as we complete dungeons. Cause, it probably uh, wasn't good to have jumped off. How long will it take for Ravelli's... That's okay. I, I've, to come back. I've got options. Yes, yeah, seriously. I know that people were looking at this game and saying, wouldn't it be cool if Zelda made an MMO? No. Ah. Uh, I but mean, like, I just like something in the in setting. Like, the, my problem with... I really wish there was a game where you did Zelda-style dungeons with your friends, where you requires multiple people to be standing on switches and fun things like that. The problem is, like, that would be a really hard um, experience to duplicate. Mm -hmm. Like, how would you convert that into solo? You just have a solo version of dungeons and a non-solo version of dungeons? I guess. I remember when these guys were the hard ones. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Really? No treasure? I feel cheated. Triforce heroes. Uh, what about Triforce heroes? Is that a game? Where it's I like multiplayer for things? Think? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Four Swords. Oh! I mean, there okay. are the Four Swords games. I, I think I looked into Triforce Heroes, but I was like watching Game Grumps play it. 
And it was like... What system was that for? 3DS. Oh, okay. I'm really hoping with the Switch that they actually reintroduce a lot more, um... Uh... You know, I, had, I oh. hadn't heard about Triforce Heroes. I had, but like, we've got the Anniversary Edition Four Swords game. The... Uh... uh no, Blood Moon. Do you have to use a GameCube controller or something akin to it? Um, no, it's 3DS. Or are you talking about the one on the GameCube? Because there was a Four Swords game on the GameCube as well. Oh. Whoop. Uh oh, there's a Yiga clan. Dude, I haven't seen one of these guys in ages. Yeah, there's some. They really only seem to be prevalent in the Gerudo plotline. Like, the Yiga really haven't made much, many appearances as of late. Yeah. And I thought that you would actually have to have some kind of quest line where you defeat the Yiga, but there's nothing of the sort. Also, in what way do they support Ganondorf? Just allowing destruction and... Whoop! And the, like, Bokoblins and the minions and such to have their way with the land? Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Honestly. The Yiga are, are kind of weird. Like, the Yiga would make sense if they were trying as, like, a counterforce to, like, uh, summon Ganon. Holy... Jumba Wumba. But if you, like, prevented... The Yiga from performing a ritual that would summon Ganon again. I mean, I, like, yeah, I, I would have loved it if they actually had like the four. Um... Ooh, ooh, it's a Hinox. It's a massive Hinox. Do I have enough weapons for this? It is the Dark Hinox. Yeah, I got enough. Ooh, I definitely have enough for this Hinox. Is there anything I can do to this guy? There's a boulder, but you can't move it. Possibly? What, that? No, that's a pillar, never mind. That's a pillar. I don't see anything particularly uh, useful as an environment weapon. Alright, fine. We fight him the normal way! We just wait uh, for him to get up. Oh, don't worry. Oh, Ooh. he does have a bracer. Exactly. Okay. Shin guard, I should say. Okay. Ooh, does he have weapons dangling from his yeah, neck? Yeah, he does. That's part of the reason why I want to kill a Hinox. Give me you some more those, weapons. You get those weapons. I see. Unfortunately, I don't think the Hinox get any better. Uh, I don't know. It's an interesting question. Holy crap, this weapon is bad. Oh, well, that's okay. Break it on his... Break it on really his... Really who? <laughs> crotch. Ouch. Well, this does a little bit more. They do a, this one does a lot of damage. Well, we got the Mifa thing, so I'll use that if we take any more damage. Whoa! Thank you, Mifa. It is my wow, she responded to me. That was weird. Hmm? Oh, I said like thank you, Mifa, and she said it was my pleasure, and I was like that was weird. <laughs> This guy is a particularly hard Hinox. I really miss all of those, like, divine, uh, not divine, those, like, royal greatswords we got our you hands on. You haven't used the electric ability yet, have you? The thunder? Like, the camel? Uh, I could do it. Hey, royal oh, broadsword. You, you did kill oh, him. wow, this guy right? had really good stuff. The Hyrulean royal family would award this sword to knights who achieved remarkable feats. A sword that balances strength and beauty as elegantly as this one is a rare find. And we have another rare bow. Okay, uh... Oh, uh, I guess we give this this one a dump. It's a royal bow, always does more damage. Woohoo! So gourmet gourmet steak. steak. And unfortunately, they never have any of the good... Seared steaks? How did you get that from his corpse? I don't know. I think that was in his stomach, which is extra weird. Ew. And gross! Yeah, so I still, still don't know how to get to this one. I assume maybe we have, um... 
maybe we have some other uh, shrine quests that we can pick up here. Uh, let's see, where else do we have? Well, let's get rid of this skull, because this is useless. Mm -hmm. Um, Get rid of that, because we don't need to We got more. the Great Fairy Fountain. Yeah. So, we got a ton of shrines. I don't remember what I marked over here. Oh, that's where Talus is. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, while we're at it, I should probably mark this Talus. He's probably just somewhere right in the here. gorge? Yeah, uh... You know, the more taluses I can farm when I feel like farming, probably the better. So I don't know what the deal is with this one here. I'm going to move it just a little bit. Oops. Edit stamp to skull. Delete stamp. Okay. Um. So yeah, we could do a bunch of shrines if we wanted to. Oh, well, weren't you switching over to near? It's too late for near. Oh. I'll do near tomorrow. Do we want to just go do the Goron stuff? I mean, we can try some Goron stuff. All right. Uh, here, here's what we'll do. Um, are there any quests in the Goron area? No. Ah, shoot. Not unless There's we not. talk with more Gorons, which you've refused to do. Uh, here, let's go to Goron City to see if we can find any Goron side quests. I mean, worst comes to worst, all I do is all I have to do is put on the pants, and we'll probably be fine. Like, I, I think it makes us heatproof, even if it's not, like, perfectly heatproof. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's giving us tips about sand seals. All the sand seals were cute. Oh, shoot. What? I guess if we did one more, uh... One more One more shrine, shrine, we'd be able to get one more HP. People want us to talk to people naked. I think we could start. Do they... Well, oh. we can't do that here because we'd burn. I will do Easter Egg Dumb Dialogue uh, probably at the end. Burn, baby, burn. Okay, there we go. Burn, yeah, we look fine. Burn. Okay, so... You said I haven't done the camel thing? I've done the camel thing. You just weren't paying attention when I did the camel thing. Yeah, but it was only once. Well, we'll go do it more. Gale is now ready. Well, that is about as convenient as possible. Gonna fly over? Of course. <laughs> Whee! Okay, so those just a uh, pair Mom. of Lizalfos. Oh, Lizalfos. Yeah, you're right. What? Oh, uh. You're on fire still? Why? Is it just even more perilous out here? Put I on, guess put, put so. Put on the fire shirt. Oh, this is disconcerting. It looks like it. Alright, uh, what weapon do I even have right now? Not that one. <laughs> Slashy slash. Well, I killed them by dropping them in the lava. Oh, hey, is that blastable? Kind of looks like it, but <laughs> I love that. I love it when it happens. Oh, he's alive. Oh. But he's practically dead. Wait, why hit him with a fire arrow? I'm not. Or the arrow's on fire because it's. Yeah. Oh, you can't use use a bomb then because that it just ignites immediately in the fire. Ooh, another cannon. Kind of should have seen that coming, Actually, can honestly. you use the cannon on the rocks? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah, that, that looks good. Wait, no! Oh, I got it. Do you have to fire it while it's moving? Is that what you're going to do? Yep. Yes! Cool! Well, I got it, whatever it was. Or or Korox. Or Korox. Looks like ore to me. Yeah, it's ore. Opal, sapphire. Ooh, that's Ooh. good stuff. Does that respawn? Anybody in chat know if I can respawn? <laughs> respawn rocks? I don't know. Okay. And people are also suggesting I should probably uh uh work on building that village. Yeah, I should do that. 
Oh, you mean the... Yeah. Remember, bomb arrows. Forgot it. Uh, it doesn't even give me time to switch. Phew. Not that that will do well, much for you. I don't think I'm getting any resources off of that one. anything from his corpse. Yeah. It is. Oh. Uh oh. They're fi firing at you from on high. Hey, is there any way to blast them off of that platform with your cannon, or is it just too far? Uh, I could use an ice arrow. Okay, Blood Moon will reset it as well. Nice. I guess I'll eat these kind of useless simmered. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now they're out of range. Yes. But you can probably soar over them. Okay, never mind. There are more out there, though. They have a lot of bombs. <laughs> You're using okay. up all your weapons here, aren't you? His enemies are durable, so they break oh, fast. Oh, you did find another fire sword. That's good. The other one may have fallen okay. in the lava. Yep, very possibly. The, uh, the other one might have fallen in the lava or is down below. Not sure. Is there anybody in here? Just him. All right, well, this is easy enough. Assuming I can climb this. Okay. Hello! <laughs> well. There it goes. No! Oh, my into items. the lava. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go check what's inside here. We've also got the cannon, so I can... Yeah, there's another cannon. Hey, can we use the cannon on the, uh... That platform over there? Uh, yeah, I could. Oh, it's rolling away. Bah! Oh, there's also a chest! Yep. We might have a blood moon, actually. Could be wrong. Or are these just the embers? No, these are just embers. It's just... There's a lot of particle effects going on in here. Rock salt. Amber. Amber. Okay, it's not much. Okay, so we've got like some kind of weird bridge Ooh, thing over there. Yeah, there is a rail of some sort. Yeah. I was just gonna go up. The, uh. Yeah, I should probably use the cannons. I should learn how to do the cannons, honestly. Yeah, that cannon would have been useful on that. All right, let's do it. Oh, are they gonna fire on you? Well, they're gonna try. All right. We have superior firepower. Ha 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 That goes a little bit be above and beyond the whole superior. Mm-mm. Unfortunately, I lost my other hammer, or my claymore. Anything to loot from the wreckage? Oh yeah, there was a treasure chest at the very least. No one's commenting. Nope. It's okay. Are Another you sure royal the stream's bow. still up? What was that? Are you sure the stream is still up? Oh yeah, it's still going. Because I Trust just see me. black screen. If nobody's saying anything, that means they're just watching. If everybody's panicking, that means the stream's down. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, there's at least a Lizolfo's tail. I think everything <laughs> else burnt. This is not a good area for material farming. Ooh. Yeah, I suppose everyone would be getting tired. It is very late. Yeah. And we keep. We keep in. Like, having the intent of, uh, going to bed early and then just never... And then burgers. somebody's like, I'm gonna stay up really late. It's not always my idea. It's not always your idea. But the other night, your idea. 
I had the weirdest nightmare last night. So, it was like people could enter a parallel realm, and it was completely inhabited by video game characters and such, but not necessarily the traditional video game characters. You just had dragons and army commandos and centaurs and, you know, just hosts of very disparate genre uh, creatures. And I could open these, like, rifts oh. and see those creatures. And the interesting thing is uh, they couldn't see you. Like, it, the whole realm was just overlapped over the real one. And, uh, but as soon as they saw you, they could interact with you. And it sounds kind of like um, either Bleach or... Uh... I mean, Stranger Things was similar. Yeah, Bleach, Stranger Things. Uh, is that him? Ooh. Oh, oh he's he's, he's got the the shield power. Oh. Okay. Bleach, Stranger Things, uh, Persona. It sounds like Persona. Really? What, what did they do in Persona? I thought Persona just had a weird eh, run that they went right. to, but it wasn't the same. Other game. Oh, um. Uh, si Silent. Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. Yeah. Right. They did have, like, it... It was like Hell Came to Earth, or there was a fog that would take people into the other realm. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Wait, what? Man. what His voice? Do? That's a Goron's voice? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Holy shit, he's buff. Uh-huh. Huh? Well, he's a youth. Huh! Huh! Now that I've gotten a good look, whoa! It's a Hylian! Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother! But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for Yonobo. Oh, so that's it! Boss told told you to come and find me. Whew, thanks goodness. In any case, I'm sure glad you saved me, Goro. Name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me Yonobo. Makes sense, Goro. Oh, Goro. You know how they say that at the end of their sentences? Yeah. In some of the games? Okay. I came to get some painkillers for Boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how'd you break those rocks at the entrance? With a cannon. Huh? You forgot the Goro. Use Boss's cannon? That thing's so difficult to use, I thought only Boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Oh. Sorry, gotta run! But do come by and see the Boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay then, goodbye for now. Goro! <laughs> So that was updated. Yep. What's in here? Loot? Uh, yeah. A cobble, cobble crusher. crusher. Oh, it looks cool, but it doesn't actually do much. Uh, Agora made two-handed weapon. It's made from thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge. So it relies on its sheer weight to crush all opponents. Well, either way, it got a bunch of mining tools, so I'll take that. Purple rupee! Yeah. Ice arrows. Yeah, ice arrows are normally useful around here because they one-shot everything. But I'm me and I... I... Ooh. Oh, hey, it's the traditional looking pots. Yeah. And they're filled with money! Money! Alright, well that looks I like that's the extent of it. I don't it. recall ever seeing purple rupees given out that generously. But then again, no other Zelda game requires you to have thousands of rupees. True. Most usually cap out at 500. significantly less than five uh, thousand. Did this guy come back? He's gonna have a bad time. And into the lava. Yeah, what is that track? Is it for oil or another material? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a track. Maybe. <gasps> Maybe you're gonna go on a ride, 
with oh, the Goron guy. With cannons? And you have to maybe fire at fire key keys or something. Yeah, I don't know. it goes around the whole area, so that would make the most amount of sense. Or maybe you have to fight uh Maybe you have to fight the... Rudania? Yeah, Rudania, thanks. Well, I, I that think way. that's actually going to be the point. We have to fight... Like, Rudania is going to be hanging out here in the center, maybe? He's going to plop down, start running around. It's kind of odd that they didn't put the bigger on sword in this game. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The bigger on always perplexed me. It's like, It annoyed whoa. me that it broke so easily. Because it was already kind of a weird pain in the ass to use because it was a two-hander. Mm -hmm. um, it was sad how you attained it. Because I think there was this one metalsmith guy who was in the Lost Woods and he had just given up on life. And I think his sister was wanting you to find him. Maybe. I don't know. This place is great for money. I don't know if these pots respawn, but... but it know. makes me wonder. Like, back in the old days, there was, like, minted currency and such, but in, if rupees are a currency, are they just carefully carved gems? And if someone's able to find those gems and replicate a rupee, they're like, -ha -ha -ha, I've created counterfeit money. And then they proceed to, uh, to use it. Alright, now let's see they if I remember this chief's of... voice. Huh? Now let's see if I remember this chief's voice. Actually, we're gonna rob his house first. Um, okay. I wanna see if he had any weapons in here. Ah, it's just a throw. Nope. Eh, it's worth a shot. Ooh. Ah, it's the tiny traveler. You know, told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Hylians like you need this sort of thing, right? Fireproof elixir. Okay then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to go meet up with your Nobo. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but uh, if I'm not there to give that Rudania a good wallop and Daruk, are you telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? <laughs> See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Flashback. Yep. Also, Rudania and Daruk are like Darunia. Who's the king from Ocarina of Time? Oh, you're standing on a circle. What? Oh, if you did the quest line right, the bigger on sword never broke. Whoops. other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity cannon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right. So what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> mm. 
What's gotten into you? Highly and sure are strange. Anyway, Yenobo is actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself. When we fire, uh, we fire him at Redania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. <laughs> we have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. All right. Well, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Redania. <laughs> Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. You okay? Oh, yeah. Just peachy. Dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo that I'm going to have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Ridge. 